It's your boy, Trey and Nell Dine, you heard me? We are the Industry Podcast, and we live with Big Guap in the building, you heard me? Man, you already know, man. It's your homie, the Burger Man, bruh, and I'm holding it down, but we are the Industry Podcast. You know what's up. Big facts, you heard me? Shout out our sponsors, NLT Live, you heard me? And the Live Line TV, you heard me? And shout out to all my red tails out there, you heard me? Big yeah. facts, big facts. So, how has COVID affected you as far as your career right now? In the music industry COVID really made me innovate Like right before COVID I opened up a, a burger spot So I was really on the verge Of opening another stream of income For myself before oh, this right. even happened Right. But when it happened It made me have to reinvent myself And say alright hold up I can't gorilla this shit Like I wanna Right. Now I gotta get hip to this computer Cause I'm you know I'm not really hip to the to the phone and having a camera <laughs> in my face because you know nigga then right. you know really out here so I, I ain't really with that computer thing but yeah. see I'm, me I'm in the street here yeah, they yeah, say yeah. my life to live uh, for social media yeah know? I really make moves for real <laughs> I don't look like real I be talk. making them you know what I'm saying right 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 so let me ask you this how you feel about virtual concerts that's something that you'll be interested in <sighs> or, or what you say about I, I, it? I'm bittersweet on it because you know, a concert is more or less like I'm. A, I'm gonna speak from my experience. When I went to Jay Z concert, right, and Jay, I got to actually see Hov. I wasn't hearing a CD. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like right. I got to see him do it live, like openly live without without him be, rapping over his song. That's a whole different experience to see that artist sweat and be in front of you and right. interact with you he might shake your hand in that motherfucker Real yeah, you know what i'm saying the, the I energy can't... especially with all the people screaming yeah. and yeah. you know the vibe and yeah the, that should be crazy it's different, it chills up your spine home, you know I mean? it's like i'm at home i'm watching this shit sitting down with my girl she fussing at the baby right you know that type of stuff you know what i'm saying real talk so do you think they you do you think Virtual concerts are beneficial or profitable? I think that I think they are. I, I and I say that from the versus battle. Like right. that was basically a concert. Right. With Jeezy and Gucci. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? You so, had your own versus battle, huh? Yeah, I, man, uh BBK Fat, man. Yeah, yeah, BBK Fat. Shout out BBK. Yeah, man, shout yeah, out man. BBK, man. Shout yeah. out to y'all. Yeah, we did do that. But I, I think I think it's lucrative. You know what I'm saying? Because people want to see what they they celebrities are doing still. So you think with COVID, you know, more people gonna lean towards that, going for that sure. Way? I think guerrilla marketing is damn near extinct right now. Right, real so hey, it's crazy. Like you know, they shutting it down, talking about all the way to March next year. Like yeah, so it's like as an artist, like what you gonna do? Like where you, you gonna gotta, perform at? You, like how you gonna you get your drop stuff visuals. out there? You gotta do virtual concerts. Right. You gotta reinvent yourself, man. Real so So let me ask you this. Coming from Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? Why you feel, you know, more artists haven't made it to a national or global level, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really, since Lil Wayne, we haven't really had anybody that's been major, major, you know what I'm saying? Let's not say Louisiana. Let's let's get to the nitty-gritty. New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, that's why when you asked me that the first time, I was stuck. But right. New Orleans, man, like, the, the cliche saying is crabs in a bucket. Nobody stick together. And nobody do business. Real. Everybody push the business to the side and get personal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you can't make business personal. That's, right. That's and that's where we fall. That's you know where we fall. Real talk, yo. So let me ask you this, you know What do you think is stopping major labels from coming to New Orleans? I think that the gatekeepers are not opening the light on people that are grinding like a J. Austin or... So uh, let me ask you Dahlia. this though: Who would you consider a gatekeeper as far as the music industry in New Orleans or Louisiana? Period. I I think like some of the old heads, like Juvie, uh, Turk, uh, you know, um, Mac Main, um, Crack Tracks. Like these are gatekeepers. Like, I, and I'm not dissing nobody. Right. Let's, let's not. I, I'm just saying they gatekeepers to the point where they can come to the city and be like. We gonna put on the talent search in right, the city right. just to look to see what. Yeah, you know, it ain't, it ain't nothing personal. We trying right. to we trying to find out what's going right, on. Right, you right. know what I'm saying? We are the industry. We you know we want to know the adversities or that the artists are going through, the business owners. You know, everybody that's involved in the music and entertainment right. industry. You know what I'm saying? So, it's definitely a struggle, man. Knowing yeah, that the, the gatekeepers not keeping the gate open. 
Right. So let me ask you this: Do you think No Limit and Cash Money Records should do more for the artists in New Orleans? I think they, I think they could. Like, just imagine if they would just say today in the Alario Center, right? We signing seven people. Everybody come here who rap in the city, right? Just yeah, seven. Been, that, that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got a lot of talent down here. That's that's you for sure. What you know what I'm saying? Look, we gonna do one on the West Bank, and then we gonna do one in the Superdome, right? And we gonna sign seven more people. So what you think stopping them, man? Like, what stops them from coming back and showing love to the city? I think it's the powers that be. The powers that be? I, I think that's what it is. I think the powers that be don't want New Orleans to do that. Right. Nah, that's crazy. So, let me ask you this. How many different campaigns have you been a part of? Since you've been in the game 15 years, you, you know, you must have. Um, I travel with China White from uh, BME. I travel with Lil John. I travel with Lil Wayne. Word. Like I used to open up for Wayne. I used to open up for China White. I actually was one of her artists. Um, I was able to be around Young Buck. I opened up for him a lot. I opened up for Fat Joe a lot. Word. Like I've been around, a, you know, a lot of different campaigns. So you were, you you were, you were around the industry artists, you know. So you, yeah, you know, you local, but you yeah. you making it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's up, yeah, man. A lot of people can't say that, you know. Oh man? no, no, man. You know, it's hard work and dedication. And this was around the time when people was hand to hand. Like I actually seen Kevin Gates hand to hand with his CDs, like Word. in the beginning. Real talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So how many different campaigns have you been a part of? Um, as far four as yourself, of four of them. Four, yeah. Oh. As far as in like in the industry, four. Right. So who who were they? Um, Young Money. Young Money. Um, BME. BME. Um. Uh, forgot this other these other people name, Sound Exchange. I mean, Sound Sound Noise sound, Sub Noise Records. Sub Noise Records. That's what it was. Sub Noise and White House. And White House, man. Shout out all them, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I know they had, you know, a positive growth. You know what I'm saying Thanks. for you. You know what I'm saying as far yeah. as like helping you. Get White your House really going. was my biggest. Like that was China White when she got her own label, and she really used to take me. She really groomed me. Like she the one who really. Gave me the guerrilla marketing. Like, even though she had a deal with Lil Jon, right. she still was pushing her own project. Real talk. So you still have a, a relationship with these folks? Oh, yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's, that's that's a lot to say because a lot of people, you know, they burn bridges. You know what I'm saying? Once, once the campaign over, it's like everybody go their own ways and, you know, they forget about each other. So for you to still have a relationship with these oh, people, yeah. a business relationship, you know, that's that's good. You know? oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot about oh, your yeah. work ethic. You know? Yeah. So what is your current campaign right now? Um, right now, I'm, I was branding. I was trying to brand a label, right? So right now, I'm more or less focusing on just branding myself. So just branding the Burger Man, period. The as Burger a Man. Brand, you got to you know tell me about this Burger Man. You man, know I mean? the Burger Man, man, it actually come. My grandfather, he was a, a jazz musician. He was one of the gems of New Orleans. And he used to sing with Fats Domino. So, so, so you got a lot of artists in your uh, family? Yeah. Runs deep in yeah, the bloodline. It runs deep in the bloodline. I'm talking down, about huh? just performing. Period. Mardi Gras Indians, second line, all that stuff. Real. My family and all that. That's real New Orleans culture too, yeah, here, man. Yeah. You ain't second line. Oh, you ain't never Seminole. been to the second line, yeah. here, man. You need to go to one, here, yeah. man. It's definitely an experience. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, Claiborne, yeah, man. Yeah, on man. On Sunday, Look, under the I was bridge. out there. I was out there <laughs> when Indians really was getting busted in the head and shit. Like when they was real meeting tough. each other. Real talk. That's yeah. what's down. So how you feel about your uh, campaign right now as far as your Burger Man, what you promote, you getting a lot of good feedback from it? Yeah, a actually, it's crazy, bro. One day I was like, you know what? I'm going to just run with the Burger Man because I dropped an album called Eat. And um, I dropped an album called Eat, and I had a gold hamburger on the cover. Right. And so when I dropped the project, Everybody went to being like, damn, son, you got a gold burger on that woo woo. And they already used to call me Wimpy when I was young because I used to eat a lot of hamburgers and shit. So my <laughs> mom and them used to call me Wimpy from McDonald's. Yeah. So I just was like, man, I'm going to just run with the burger, man. Started using the burger emojis. Now we hit a current day burger chain. I was about to say, man, I, I, I see the burger yeah, chain on there. You, you, you icy right yeah, now. Everything yeah, burger, man. man. <laughs> everything burger. So let me ask you this. What's the difference from your current campaign compared to the ones in the past? You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I'm more in a boss position. Like, I understand the business more, and I understand marketing more. 
So my project for 2021 coming forward is going to be stronger than ever. Word, that's what's up, you hear me? So right now as an artist, you feel like you're in your prime or you feel like you still have room to grow? I feel good. I'm going to just say that. You feel good. I feel you you good. in your zone. You yeah, I feel me? good. Like, you only as old as you feel. You feel me? Real talk. And I feel, I'm man. feeling good. That's what's up. You hear what I mean? So, coming from New Orleans, what separates you from these other artists that's coming from New Orleans and out of Louisiana? Um, I'm truthful in my music. Yeah. And I have substance. Like, I can talk about all kind of things. I can get street I can make a song for the ladies. I can make something for you to think about. Like, I'm just a well-rounded artist, in my opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what I feel separates me from everybody. I'm me. I don't care what nobody think about me. Like, who you know walking around with a burger chain on? Right, right, real You know tough. what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm comfortable in my skin. Real. That's that's what's up here, man. So what are the services besides you guys the artistry, you doing the... The burger line with the with the, you got the graphics. Oh yeah, speaking of that, hold you on. know what I'm saying? I brought you a little burger, little happy meal. Oh uh, shit! That's the burger slides. Got your burger shirt, man. Man, y'all you know see that, stamp man? Up, you hear me? Yeah, I see. Got Shouts the- out to McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Yeah, we holla at your boy. Get that boy sponsorship, man. That boy yeah, got the man. burgers, private. You hear me? Real talk. Got the Sanders and the shirts yeah. in here. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, you hear me? But um, I, I I do got burger merch. I got burger slippers, shirts. I got uh, I do graphic design. So if y'all need business cards, flyers, mixtape covers, uh, billboard designs, anything like that, holla at me. And also, I just started my new business, Nola Props. That's for all you rappers out there that need guns and bricks and money and models and all of that stuff. You can holla yeah, at so, Nola Props, and we got a problem. So how you come up with all these creative ideas just to get money? You know what I'm saying? I mean. And everything, something is needed. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can break it down like this. Like, whoever created the pencil, know that if when you fuck up with this pencil, you're going to need something to get it off the paper. Right. So that comes the man that make the eraser. And that's right. how I think. Like, <laughs> who, is, who is Bobby? Like, who is Bobby that created a Bobby pen? Right. Who is Bobby? Right. How did he think of that? That's what I think. <laughs> Yeah, I think cause I see you got the, the Nola pens and all that popping yeah, here, man. Like, I'm like, man, this dude got everything. Yeah, he I got, got shirts, he got hats, he got sandals. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He doing graphics here, man. Like, you got the props here, man. Like, every day I see, like, a, it's like you starting a new business, you know what I'm saying? Out of something, out of nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah, because I'm constantly, I'm a creator. Like, that's my strongest trait, right? Like, I create. I'm an artist. That's why if somebody be like, oh, you're a rapper. No, I'm just, I'm art, period. Word, word. Man, let's get into some of these songs, you know I, mean? I want to hear some of this music, you know I mean? This is uh, going to this fat boy, Fresh. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, we, we, yeah, classic, we gonna, man. We're going we to talk about it after we play like a, a hook and a verse, you know what I mean? Let yes, y'all hear sir. a little sample, you know I mean? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. And that was one of your 
first tracks when you first started, right? Yeah, man. That's, that's so where you was at mentally and what you was doing at that time as far as with your career. Like by me always being a fat boy, like from young, like I always felt like I was an underdog. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when I had the opportunity to have a voice, when I really found out I was rapping, like, all right, people like this shit. Right. I'm like, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to let the whole world know I'm a fat nigga. I'm a fresh. <laughs> fuck all you slim niggas. Like, that's the that's the kick I was on, and that's that's how that was born. As when you growing up in New Orleans, did you ever struggle, like, with people, like, teasing you because you were big and yeah, things whole like lot that? Of as, fights. as far as bullying and things like whole, lo- whole lot of fights, whole lot of rib sessions. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I ain't never get bullied or nothing, but, you know, nigga used to rib, and, you right. know, I'm, I'm nice. So, growing up in New Orleans, you know, you got to have that oh, tough skin. Oh, you got to have your ribs up. You got to have that <laughs> tough skin, yeah. Real tough, yeah. you hear me? Yeah. And man. I actually, had a, I actually had a dream about that song before I made it. Like, I woke up and went to the studio and made it. Yeah. Like, that's how it happened. Real tough. So, when the last time you performed that song? <laughs> when the Red Velvet was open. About what ten years ago? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's dope, yeah. you heard me? Yeah, man. Man, hold up. Let's get into the second song, you heard me? If you don't know what, tell them where they go find Fat Boy Fresh at. You can find Fat Boy Fresh on datpiff.com and all you gotta do is search my name, Young Guap. Word. Well, let's get into the up. second song, you heard me? It's called Pride of Game, you heard me? Yeah, it is. Watch your step, girl. These is a tailgate. If you got on them nines, them no eyes, you hear me? Get off the dance floor, dog. I'm on my pride again, you hear me? I'm like, I'm like white, red, green, brown, blue, black, low, highs, white, red, green, brown, blue, black, low, highs. Pride is on my feet, got a nigga feeling blizzard. Yeah, I'm the shit, man, I can't need lizard. If you want not eat, boy, they drink 20 fizzard. Smith's on the coop, got me sitting inside. Ride a low zone, 300 on my inside. Green monkey zone, and he got him in my scissors. I'm so delicate, I'm looking for a stallion. Watch your step, girl, these is a tailgate. Bundles in my jeans, got my pocket so heavy. I'm on that X rated, and your girl looking ready. Take her back to the telly, and I piece of like belly. He looking at my shoes, and I got him all jealous. I ain't from Bell Lair, but this prince is the freshest. And you can try taking him bow to your cranium. Yeah. Giving away Pradas in, which yeah, was in high man. school or something. Yeah, we was giving away. I was in them streets at that time, so you know how we was living, going to sacks and shit. And I'm like, man, fuck that. We about to make a name. I'm I'm giving out Pradas when I go to my next show. And I actually bumped into your partner, amazing, and that bitch. He was fucked up about that. He told me about that like a couple of years ago. Like, bitch, like right. you really used to give out shoes at your man, show. He tell me that story every time I saw him. Yeah. Every time he talk about it, he tell me that story. You heard me? Yeah, no man. Sure. Yeah, man. And, <laughs> and that's how we was coming, dog. Me and my team. That's how we was coming. Real talk. So you was in the animal ballads, man. I mean, I used no, to rock I, the animal ballads. I, I, I never used to like ballads because <laughs> my feet was too fat. You heard me? Real, real. You know, had like a little slim feet for the travel fox, the buffalinos. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I found the Priders and I saw they was like, you can put your feet in them because I, I ain't wear the cool hinds either. They was too Real skinny. Toe. Yeah, I used to rock the cool hinds in the barely. Yeah, they was too skinny <laughs> for me. So I just was like, fuck that. I'm going to stick to the Priders. Real toe, you heard me? So at that time, how old were you when you dropped that song, Prider Game? Oh, shit. I had to be about 16, 17. Ooh, 16, 17. Yeah. Man. I was in high school. Still in high school. Yeah. Giving away Priders. Yeah. That's major, son. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. major. Like, who's yeah. doing that? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> man, man. I ain't even think of it like that. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know, you at a young age, you know, you got an entrepreneurial mindset. You know what I mean? It's like, you could see the growth and, you know, where you want to be in life. You know what I'm saying? What, like, what, you striving even, to be something. What's even crazier, dog, 
and I, I, I just was talking to my little brother about this the other day. We were selling T-shirts. Right. The same T-shirts y'all buying right now, I was selling T-shirts. Real talk. I remember. Out the trunk, nigga, when Spice One was open. Three, three for ten dollars. Yeah. White tees. Right? Selling T-shirts. Five dollars shirts every day. Now look at that shit <laughs> at all the stores. Right. Real we talk. We was out the trunk with it. Real talk, man. That's crazy, Around that though. time. Well, let's get into this next track, you know? It's called Icy Hot, you know? Let's get it. It's that new new. It's that 37 shit. You already know. Red Tails. Getting out. Ah. Uh. Never let a nigga take mine. Yeah, I heard it through the grapevine. Let a nigga blow napalm. I'm the one that they hate on. Big stick like a Moses. My eyes open where my roses. When you getting cheese, getting plenty cheese, you know it come with the rodents. If you a G, then keep a G while you gotta come with the motives. He ain't even got a car at all, but his mouth came with a motor. Of course, the niggas know him. We've been away. Y'all going through the motions. All homies coming at my head. I got some something that I gotta cope with. Fuck. I ain't tripping cause I'm dying, Mitchell. Niggas sick with this 4 5. These niggas remind me of Dion. Cause they playing on both sides. Promise every notes in both eyes. Yeah, I can see it. Comment some ice to cool me down. Now that I'm heated. I'm being conceited. Your bitch, I'm a dick and she eat it. Got water on me, feet. I'm the hardest on my region, nigga tripping and I'm reaching. I ain't fucking with no leeches like them baddies with the peaches. It ain't money, what you speaking? Huh? I saw, I'm cool, he rich, I'm high, my bed, so cold, he mad, he high, my whip, so cold, I'm bad, she high, this world, so cold. Niggas flexing on the gram, all on the gram just for the light lights. He a bitch, ain't he a snitch, ain't got no nuts, he a dyke dyke. She said, fuck with a fat boy. Girl, he got that pipe pipe. Much store with the guns. Niggas know that I'm nice, nice. Bitch, I'm a dog. Niggas be pissing me off. Tripping, I'm letting it off. I got the sauce, yeah. I got the sauce. Standing tall like the saw. Bitch, I'm a G, yeah. Bitch, I'm a G. Fuck boy, I'm a G. I got respect, nigga. I got respect from the west to the east. Nigga, remind me of white boys. They just won't be a nigga. Bitch, I was raised on the hot boys. I don't want to be a jigger. Yeah, I'm the burger man. She just want to eat the pickle. Nigga, I want the boss. I don't want to see the middle. Reaching for my ice. Yeah, that's an avalanche. We pulled up with them big guns in a minivan. Nigga, left that boy swole like some hair. Man, let me know how you go from fat boy fresh to Prada game to where you at right here on this track. Right here, Icy High. Um... I just was on some shit like I'm a cool person And we just was talking about this earlier Like I'm a cool person But I can be the devil right behind that Right You know what I'm saying And that's what that whole song was Ice on I'm cool He reach I'm high He mad Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah (laughs) You know what I'm saying Like That's what That's what the whole Yeah was behind That's what made me do that bitch That bitch catch it right there You heard me Yeah man So when you made this track right here I just made that Ooh Fresh on the deck Fresh Fresh on the Grease is online right now For 129 man So going from Fat Boy Fresh Prada Game To Icy Hot How much growth Have you think As far as your Pimpmanship goes I think From that period From those Three periods. I think I understand I don't have to beat myself up mentally to write a song like real to try to spit, spit, spit. I can just say some real relatable shit and get the same point I want to get across. Real so well let's get into this last song, you heard me? It's called Get the Bag. Get the Bag. Get the Bag. Young Guap. Grind like amigo, uh, all I know is Cino's. Uh, Hold up, boy, that's not your cheese. Give me them Doritos. No, I don't need no audience, no. knowing my coordinates. Uh, we don't deal with fraudulence, uh, we move on some water shit. shit. I be on my car to kick, I make blues and you borrow chips. Uh, I am dope, you water whipped, I pull up in that forum. Yeah. Splash, follow the drip, I got the sauce, I'm on a friend. All this money on my mind, I wake up to it like my bitch and tell them. Go get the bag. I feel like Pac-Man chasing ghosts. I feel like Pac-Man chasing ghosts. Go get the bag. Go get the go get the bag. Go get the bag. Go get the go get the bag. I feel like Pac-Man chasing ghosts. I feel like Pac-Man chasing ghosts. I just want the bag. I want the cougar up in the jag. I got the curry up in the yeah. My channel is flurry. Who any mad? I'm from the nine. I stay with the mad. Running up on me, I give you a tech. Running up on me, I give you a tech. They go right. 
got that wave and I'm swimming. Uh, she flip with the D like she pippin'. Yeah. I follow the money like Twitter. Uh, you stuck on that hoe, you a sticker. Uh, My hoe just hit me for pickup. Yeah. All this money, I'm a printer. Yeah. Fat nigga in the sprinter. Yeah. You a hoe, Bruce Jenner. Yeah. I'm running shit like Ed Rand. Uh, Scott Stein, I'm flexing. Flex. Take your hoe in Vanessa. Yeah. Got a chop on the dresser. Dress. I be blowing that pressure. Fresh. You fold under pressure. Fresh. You way too extra. Yeah. I'm one up like an extra. I tell him, go get the bag. I can say, I just want the bag. I'm with a cougar up in the jag. I got the curry up in the yard. My chain of McFlurry. Who ain't he mad? Ooh. I'm from the nine. I stay with the mag. <laughs> and then the pull me, I give you a tag. Nigga, listen to that, man. Word. That man, so tell me how you came about this song right here. I just wanted to make a, a hustler's anthem. So, get up and go get the bag, man. Right. And I Everybody really got it off. Go up and get the bag right now. Yeah, you, know? yeah. you ain't getting your own bag right now, yeah. boy. You know I'm praying for you because yeah. it's hard out here with this COVID. Yeah, yeah. Real talk, you heard me? I kind of went off that a milli vibe. You know that a milli, a milli. Yeah. That, that's the kind of vibe <laughs> I went with that bitch. You know? So is this a, this is one of your latest songs or? Th- this one I just dropped before Icy Hot, but. This current too, this new too. So you pushing this as a single? Yeah, I got the visual out there right now on YouTube, man. Big Guap, go get the bag. You did, go check that out, man. Go see us in our ski mask with our gun. Real right. toe. <laughs> Y'all yeah. cutting up. Yeah. Hey, we just shot a video, huh? Yeah, man. man tell you them was about in that, that thing? Tell you them about that, that right quick. A, we just shot a video called uh, With the Shits. Me and Bless McLaren, my sister. You dig? And um, we had like a little, it was a Christmas theme. We're going to drop it Christmas Day. Real so tough. y'all be on the lookout for that. I don't want to spoil too much, but it was a Christmas party and some gangster shit popped on. So here. how that go about with you and your sister collabing on a track? I mean, that got to be something special, you know what I'm saying? Something like Nas and his pops, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, Real you tough. know what's crazy, dog? Like my little sister, went, I, I know you remember the party line was out and all that shit, right? Right, right, right. The party line, the nine o'clock props and all that. My little sister actually used to get on the party line and battle people with my verses. <laughs> like when she was younger. So you so, used to ghost right for... No, she used to take my she verses. She used to steal your... <laughs> yeah, get on there and be spitting. And then like, ooh, girl, spitting, but she rapping my shit. Right. <laughs> so, you know, when, for me to get on a song where it was kind of surreal, like, it was like, damn, this is my baby sister. Like, real toe. So how much growth you seeing her as far as her career and her talent? I think she gonna be real, real... I, she probably be better than me. Real toe, yeah, man. Tell her uh, where we can find that, you know, where her music is. Oh, y'all can check out, man, Bless the BBW on Instagram. And you can look her up on SoundCloud right now. Uh, Bless McLaren, you dig? B-E-L-S-S-M-C-L-A-R-I-N. Man, it's Trillionaire Dime. We are the Industry Podcast, you hear me? Y'all check us out every Thursday at 8 p.m., you hear me? We're going to have live guests, you hear me? Business owners, Everybody that's involved in the industry, you hear me? You're going to see them on this podcast from Louisiana all over nationwide overseas, you hear me? Y'all tune in, you hear me? We're about to get out of here with Big Guap, you hear me? Young Guap. I mean, which one is he, you hear me? I'm kind of confused <laughs> over here, you hear me? I mean, I was young, you know what I'm saying? But we grew up, so we Big Guap now, you know what I'm saying? Real talk, you know, you got to grow up in age, you hear me? Yeah, Mature, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take the young and make it to the big. I feel that, you yeah. hear me? That's like... Going from the indie to the industry, you hear me? When you go get a burger, you big, you biggest size. Of Real you tall, you, you hear me? We want that, yeah, what you get it? Fully dressed, huh? Fully dressed. Yeah, a big well face, dressed. you hear me? Well, look, this is Trillion L. Dine. This is Big Guap. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? We are the Industry Podcast. Every Thursday, 8 p.m., man, y'all tune in. Shout out to our sponsors, NOTN Live, the Live Line. You hear me? Shout out Red Tails. You hear me? Shout out everybody in the industry, you hear me? Keep your heads up.